This screencast demonstrates the capabilities of the User State Migration Tool in Windows 7. The advances in imaging are great in Windows 7. We've also invested heavily in the image delivery tools with Windows Deployment Services in Windows Server 2008 R2. Beyond application compatibility, imaging, and remote installation, the biggest time drain is moving user profiles or files and settings from one computer or operating system to another computer or operating system. We know a lot of people already have hardware that will run Windows 7 well. And this release, more than any previous Windows release, won't require hardware upgrades. So how do you get your user's files and application settings from Windows Vista or Windows XP to Windows 7? For computer refresh scenarios, where your users keep their existing hardware, we can now use USMT hard links to facilitate the migration. In the past, you would move files into protected locations on the disk, wipe the operating system, then move the files back into their final locations. With hard links, we don't move anything. USMT indexes the user files and registries, we wipe the operating system around them, then we can reapply the new operating system and map the unmoved files into the new operating system. In this demonstration, I'll gather 20,000 files totaling 29 gigabytes from my computer running Windows 7. This used to take about an hour end to end on this computer. Let's see how long it takes with hard links. While USMT is running, I'll tell you about the other updates in USMT. First, we can now enable user state gather to run offline to provide more flexibility in scripted tools, and in some cases improve performance, because the whole operating system does not need to run in the background. Second, we changed the way gather detects user files. It used to require editing an XML manifest to determine which file type should be moved. Now, the new gather algorithm does that for you. Now, the user state gather has run and performed what was usually an hour-long job in less than five minutes. That means we cut potentially an hour or more out of the operating system installation and migration time end-to-end. -end. 